This bar sheet. Yeah. And the ceiling. And then here. Camera in. So I'll be using stethoscope, blood pressure cuff, and of course, hand sanitizer. That's right. Alright, I'm gonna head out. Evening, sir. Uh, my name is Student Nurse Kim Bro. I'm gonna be looking at some of your vital signs today, as well as palpating. Uh, for testing and auscultating your chest and your back. If you have any questions about it, just let me know, okay? If I need some formal identification on you. Okay. Peter Burr. Uh, 062700. Full name. Cameron Bullard. Alright. So first, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Just go ahead and get some of our charts. Um, when we're doing respiratory examinations, we like to ask these questions just so we can look for abnormalities, okay? Um, have you had any trouble breathing recently? Uh, no, not at all. No shorts of breath. No, no, like, no, not with like any exercise or anything like any that. Any coughing? No. No pain at all? Yeah, there's, there's no pain whenever I breathe. No like chest pain or like anything going on. Um, have you had any respiratory problems um, in the past or recently? Or do, uh, or do you feel like you're having any right now? No, I don't feel like... like no, there's no family history going on that I've ever had, or like me history. I've never had any like surgeries going on with okay. like any respiratory thing. So okay, um, any tuberculosis or cancer? Uh, have you had your tuberculosis shot? Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I had a uh, shot. TB and flu shot okay. a month ago. Perfect. And um, what did you ask about? You said lung cancer. Yeah. Uh, no, no lung cancer present with me. No with surgeries family. ever. No. In the lung area. Okay. Um, have you had a family history of any lung issues? Mm -mm, no. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to ask you some questions more like uh, environmental factors. Um, do you use tobacco products? Uh, no, no tobacco products. Do you have any environmental factors at your work or at home that uh, may affect your breathing? No. Do you need secondhand smoke? No. Um, do you take any medications over the counter or prescribed for you? Yeah, no, no one for like, like no respiratory medicine. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing going on with like medication okay, wise for me. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, some vital signs on you. I'm just gonna take your blood pressure, your respiratory rate, and your um, your pulse. Okay. So first, I'm gonna start with your pulse. Um, go ahead and yeah. So I'm gonna set him up over here just because this dominant hand is his right hand. Um, if there was a bed rail, I would take it off and I would raise him up. But we don't have that. So, I'm just going to get close as possible and go ahead and take this. And 15 seconds, so let's multiply that times four. Yeah, 80. So your pulse was 80. Now I'm gonna be taking your respiratory rate. So just uh, sit up a little bit for me. Okay. And just breathe normally, okay? So your respiratory rate is 7013. 
Next, I'm going to take your blood pressure. I'm going to make sure that the video can see you. Lay back. No, I can't. That's okay, though. Yeah. I'm off. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, so next I'm going to be taking your blood pressure on your dominant arm. <laughs> go ahead and lift your hand up for me. What's your blood pressure normally? Uh, 120 or 70. Mild it. Looks like I need to wipe this down. Before I start, I need to wipe this down. Twenty-two over seventy. That's good, man. All right. All right. Blood pressure one twenty-two over seventy. So go ahead and sit back up for me. So this is where I would have lowered the bed, and yeah. So now I'm gonna be verbally. Observing um, his breathing. So I'm going to be checking for um, use of accessory muscles. This would be like his intercostal cartilage um, as well as his trapezius. Um, he's not using that at all. Um, his posture is fine. Uh, he's not really breathing hard at all. Uh, he's got a two to one ratio, so no COPD or anything uh, affecting his breathing there. He's not nose flaring, uh, not mouth breathing, uh, so that's good. Um, his coloration. Is very good. Um, his skin looks good. Uh, his fingers, when you ch are checking for his fingers, you want to look for clubbing. He has no clubbing going on here, and the color is fine. Um, that's all I can think of right now. I'll probably think of something else later. Um, so, next, I'm going to start with some palpations. Um, I'm going to be looking for crepitus and you know, some abnormalities, masses, lumps. Let's go ahead and set up for me. No abnormalities or crevices, go ahead and spin my around for me. Alright, um, next I'm going to be checking for firmness. Okay, um, this is a test where every time I touch you just say 99, okay? 
take some of the same thing on your back. So can you put back on for me? Okay, okay just go ahead. My mom. My mom. My mom. My mom. My mom. My mom. Okay. And on this test, go ahead and put back on. On this test, you want to not feel vibration. If you feel vibration, that means there's something dense in there that's carrying that vibration uh, through. So next, I'm going to be doing some percussing. Um, this is just going to be listening to full resonance or noise. Nice resonant resonance and all those. Come to the background for me. And you really want to try to avoid his scapula because that's always just going to be dull. I mean, that's right on bone. So you don't want to. Good resonance in both of those. Got to flip back around. Okay, so. Next, I would be checking for auscultation. Uh, no, let's do some, yeah, auscultation. We'll do auscultation first. Probably need to think I'll come back to it. Okay, so next I'm going to be checking your breathing, Mr. Fuller. Um, just every time I put the uh, bell on your chest, just breathe in for me, okay? Just do a normal breathing cycle, full cycle, okay? Let's turn this up a little bit. And you really want to make sure you're checking for a full cycle here. Listening for any abnormalities. Good. Can you put your arms in front of you like this? Good. All right. Can you go ahead and turn around for me? Thanks. And same thing here. When I put the uh, pill onto your back, just breathe in for me, okay? Again, you want to make sure you're avoiding scapula. Good. Put your arm up. Okay. So I heard no abnormalities, uh, no crackling, no heart breathing, labor breathing. Okay, just go ahead and turn around for me. So I'm gonna again listen for our uh, auscultate four. Um, I'm gonna do some tests on you. So just say E when I auscultate, okay? Okay. E E E E E E E E E When doing this test, you should hear an E. Um, if you hear an A, ah, that's when there is an abnormality present. So next, I'm gonna have him say or whisper one, two, three. So you should not hear this. Um, this again, checking for audio vibrations. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna do the same test on your back. Okay. So 
First test, I want you to say E, okay? Okay. E, 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 E. My hands up. E. Perfect. All right. Um, and now one, two, three. Whisper, okay? I got to do right in the video. Um, all right, no, whatever. All right, so that's bar. So the situation is um, I have a patient, Fuller, here. Um, today I did a uh, observation of his anterior and posterior uh, chest. I also did vital signs, which were all good. Um, he just came in for a regular appointment. Um, I would say no diagnosis of anything, no ab abnormalities. Um, patient is in good health. and um, My assessment would be that he just continues to do what he's doing and lives a healthy life. And uh, no recommendations. He did maybe some more uh, in-depth lab, but from my uh, view, I can't see anything.